Russia has recently launched its new Ural nuclear-powered icebreaker vessel that will undoubtedly strengthen its position in the Arctic. The ship is a marvel, it's 173 meters long, 53 meters high, and can smash through ice 3 meters thick. What's more, it's the third in a series of new giant icebreakers built over the last few years, and there are two more to come. But how was Russia able to push forward with this project while under heavy sanctions from the so-called international community? Sanctions were placed on the nation to restrict Russia's access to high-tech products. However, Russia is a high-tech country itself. It has been dominating the Arctic since Soviet times, and now it is the world leader in the number of nuclear-powered icebreakers. With most of its territory being inside the Arctic Circle, these machines ensure stable gas and oil development in Russia's northern regions. Russia has started a program to modernize its nuclear fleet and is now replacing old Soviet ships with brand new ones. Apart from the recently christened Ural icebreaker, there are two more to come, the Arctica and the Sibir. By 2035, Russia will have built 13 heavy-duty icebreakers. Russia can handle its task without foreign technology and materials. Moreover, this massive new project ensures work for its metal, engineering, and shipbuilding industries. Each icebreaker has a life expectancy of 40 years, which is a serious goal for a vessel designed to smash into solid ice regularly. By developing its icebreaker fleet, Russia is actually helping the whole world, as these ships will lead caravans of foreign vessels through the Arctic sea routes, opening a much shorter way to move between Europe and Asia.